right there. Yeah, but I like this way. My hair. You gotta protect the hair. How's it going, fishing freaks? Welcome on back to the channel. Me and OSG are up here on Broken Bow Lake right now. I just caught my first crappie. Just got the pan optics dialed in. The fish just flopped off the back deck, by the way. 14 incher <laughs> into the water. OSG tried to grab it, stabbed her hand. I was I was like about to start the vlog off with uh, that. I don't know why you unhooked him. Crappie have some pretty sharp spines, as you yeah. got him. <laughs> what is going on here? They're spitting it out. Do I need to change colors? I never leave home without the crappie stuff. It's a nice uh, organization. Thank you. Like that? How long do you think it's actually going to stay like that? <sighs> Probably a week. I don't even know what this fishing video is going to constitute. Yeah. It's it's really about. I think it's going to be basically you yeah. coming out with me for the first time in over a year, and me we're gonna catching see how long a you fish last. in so long. We've already been out here for like an hour. <laughs> You're just straight sun tanning. I was. I'm these are, these are the optimal OSG conditions. It is oh, it's uh, gorgeous. like 78 degrees. It's windy, but... But no clouds in the sky. Optimal yeah. tanning weather. I will be out there. Right there. Got myself a little blanket. Yeah, not, not the best fishing conditions. High pressure, blue burger, but <laughs> OSG, she comes out. I think before the end of our trip here, I want to catch bass. Well, we're gonna do that because I haven't caught a bass in since like 2018. Oh, the crappie have moved. Got him. Ah! They're just nipping it. Excuse me. Got a fish on the line. Yeah, but it's a spotted bass. First largemouth of the trip. First bass of the trip, period. Goal is OSG says she wants to get a bass. She's this is what she calls her pre-fishing right now. <laughs> she just Yeah, she lets me find all the fish, get them dialed exactly, and then and you'll get up there. This this one would be better for right here. This little uh Ned rig. Yeah. Oh, I think that might be a bite. No. Oh, which one is this? Yeah. That was a bite, and it's a big one. Ooh. It is a big in there, honey. Honey, I done hooked up on a, on a holy hog jammer. Oh my gosh, he got me in a tree and he come off. That was the biggest fish I've ever hooked out here. Not, not kidding. Large mouth. What? Serious, dead serious. What the heck did he get me on? I thought I had him all the way. It's a tree out here in the middle of nothing. Oh, there's another one. Oh my gosh. Right there in that little shade pocket. That was at like a certified high three maybe four pounder oh there's another one that's got to be bluegill is what that is and that's why that big bass was hanging there because these bluegills are doing their thing we got her in the zone on the dangle y'all seriously biggest bass i've ever hooked out here like i've i think was may, maybe over three and i had one that was pushing four right there and i'm i'm you didn't see it? How do you, I, it came two feet out of the water. It was, trust me, it was there. We've been kind of floating around this morning, playing around with the boat. Uh, OSG's been tanning, you know, we've had a nice uh, meal on the water, doing all that. Usually I only get like three or four hours out of you, but today. Uh, it's been about four hours. Yeah, we're, we're reaching our, our upper limits, but here's what we gotta do. We gotta get her a bass. So we've come into the backs of some creeks. There's a little bit more shade back here. Um, I came up here in the spring and I was, I'm surprised to see the bass are still really back here, but 
I got to thinking, they're, they're chasing these bluegills. That's what they're doing. These big bass stay behind until really through June. Some remain resident fish and they eat those big bluegills and we've got a lot of overhanging trees still, these big trees. And honey, the bluegill will hang under the trees because of the shade and the bugs that live in the trees and they fall down and they eat them and they're spawning. Uh, so the big bass are gonna hang around there. So we're gonna continue to dabble around OSG's goal for the day. She said she wanted to, she wanted to catch a bass. I was like, we got crappie, we got walleyes, we got, you know, we can, we can slay the gills. Maybe we save that for tomorrow. But today, do you have one? You don't feel it? No, because we're, we're leaving. We're leaving. Well, we're not, we're, we're not leaving. We're, we're just moving. slowly migrating. They're going to slurp this like candy corn, baby. Man, it's got a new jingle. That one hit me hard. I'm rigging up a little shaky head unit. Yeah, yeah, with a little junior trench hog. Don't have it too much longer with me. Don't have too much longer? No, I'm just saying. Do you, do you want to catch a bass or do I you do. want to go I'm home? I'm getting a little burned. Okay, well, you know, when you come out on the boat, you gotta be prepared for such things. You're gonna get something on that. I would bet money on it. Oh, oh now definitely don't. Oh, this is the OSG in the trees. Okay, let's try this again. Got him? Get him, babe. Get that. I thought get the bluegill. It's a bluegill. Bring him in. It's a green here. Son of a fish, I got one under the boat. Large, he came off, Dad. Go. He got a species of sunfish, but not the bass. So as soon as we get around the point, see? Mm -hmm. It's like key area. Boy, what does that feel like to catch one? God, it's been so long. <laughs> <laughs> it has been. Oh. I need to quit losing the bass. I've lost my last three bass. What is going on here? Oh, one just ate. Oh. One just ate right there. Do you see that? One had you too? Are you sure? Wow, right on that point. Got him on the droppy. On the old drop shot. <sighs> on this little shade point. Why don't we fish together anymore? Why don't we fish together anymore? First of all, I'm always taking care of Emmy. I don't know, why don't we fish anymore? I think I know why. That's the true. It's because I'm just getting warmed up. And I'm almost ready to go in. <laughs> I told Justin, I was like, okay, you got about 30 minutes. And it's been about 15, so I'm I know. Like, I'm almost at that point. There was one time I think I ruined it. I ruined it for us. Now, I'm not talking about the frog in the face. No, no. Now that was something as well. If you guys don't recall the frog in the face, I lived through that. it was like a viral type video. Oh, I, I drove out, I, she went with me early in the morning. I, I went out to this lake and it took me all day to figure them out. But at the end of the day, y'all, frog, shallow. And they were <laughs> way back in there. And once I figured that out, I was like, honey, there's like four more pockets I got to dangle in. And let me tell you, at that point, I was so over it that I was probably behind the camera filming you like. You were pissed. <laughs> and I could tell, like, as soon as I put the boat on the trailer, I was like, hmm, yeah. Uh, this is like the first time she's actually really mad at me. We're, I think we were dating, right? Like yeah, we, we weren't even we married. Were married yeah, we were engaged. that was a true test right there. And let me tell you, I learned a lesson. Like short little dangle sessions, okay? Three, four hours, not a full haul. You, you haven't been out in the sun in like a year and your legs are showing it. You were like a raisin when I met you. And, and then now all of a sudden. I'm so white, I'm whiter than you are. Anyways, y'all, we're in another pocket. We're close to her catching her, her first bass in over a year. Oh, wait. He's got it. Get him. Oh, oh I saw your line moving. Just a little too early. Maybe. I gave into peer pressure. I, maybe, yeah. You got this. She's just dragging a little shaky head around. Pretty typical Highland Reservoir tactic. You got to recast up there in the shade zones. That's where it's got to be. 
<laughs> if you want me to perform tomorrow outside, I think we need to go in <laughs> soon. <laughs> like, so you're going to give up on the bass? I'm not going to give up because we're coming back tomorrow. But I'm just saying I have to preserve my legs because I'm tingly. And normally Babe, I'm, you I'm, should know <laughs> that being outside... I put sunscreen on. I never put sunscreen on. And this is the only place I put sunscreen on today. And I'm burned. Like how many more casts do we have left? 30. 30? Yes. Well, I'm going to fish them slow. No. <laughs> but. Ooh, oh, oh my God, my God. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Are you sure it's not a tree? No, no, I'm positive. I'm positive. Get him out. OSG coming in hot with a good one. Yeah, baby. OSG oh. never, she's never given up. She never gave up today. Sunburn and all. I got it. Sunburn and all. Get it up in here. Sling it in here, baby. Woo! Oh, God. Yeah, you Woo! did it. Oh, it feels good. Oh, my God, yes. yes. You freaking did it. Woo! Just to remember how to get it. Okay, okay. Yeah, Hold grab, on. Grab that lip. Grab that lip. Lock the jaw out and done. Oh, Babe, I'm proud so of you. Oh, God. I am proud of you. Woo, we were just having conversations of me giving up. <laughs> And I didn't. And you put the hammer down. It must have got caught in that tree. So it, it no, was, I don't think so. <laughs> no. Well, you see that lay down right there? I that's do. what you caught it off of. So that's one of those key pieces of cover we were talking about. Babe, you did great. Thank you. You did great. Thank now, you. I think we're gonna have to go in because because my legs the are legs gone. the legs are gonna need a rest. Okay. Yeah, just give it a little. I know you got those little fingers. I'm sorry. Get those little oh. tiny eye eye fingers in there okay. and get it out. There you go. Oh, can I get a photo? Toss her back. Alrighty. Thank you. I appreciate you. Tell your friends. Boink. Tell your friends. Oh, yeah. Oh, he gotcha. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh. Throw that on your Instagram page. Okay. OSG, you made me proud today. I'm so happy. You made me a proud husband. I didn't let you down. Mm. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take it in, y'all. Uh, if you want to follow the Lake Life Family Channel, we're doing some stuff around uh, the cabin. Honestly, it kind of feels like a home away from home treehouse situation. We're staying at a little cabin out here. I just want to get walleye, crappie, bass, bluegill. All tomorrow? All tomorrow. Oh my gosh. I think we could do it. Okay, well, I already got We only, I we, got two. Yeah, we already know we got three, three or four hours to, uh, that's about all we get here. And hey, then we'll, we'll have to go on a hike or something or a walk. It's never, it's never long enough, honey. I got a dangle problem. Let's get it. Whee! By the way, whole shot on the new motor. I think it's gotten better. It's very tasty. And Steph is in there getting ready right now. It is 6.30 in the morning, and we are about to head out to the waters. I'm just lucky that OSG is even going out with me again today. Because when I get out there in the zone, I just I just want to conquer the whole lake. And, uh, you know, she's not on board. And you know what? This is what marriage is about. you got to understand. It's the gives and the takes. I have a window. I know I only have three or four hours. And then we're going to pack it up. We're going to go home. We're going to have a great life. And then... Next time I go out by myself, then I can hit it 12 hours. Just got to know the gives and the takes. And we have a fantastic marriage celebrating our five-year anniversary. Here, just hanging out. So it's not all about fishing, you know. But sometimes it is. chilled on that boat ride? <laughs> My eye liquid <laughs> Your eye liquids came out? That, mean, that means the old Merc did his job. <laughs> Woo, I feel like I'm just liquid losing. Squirrels fighting. Oh, got him. Oh my gosh. Did you hear that? Boom, that was cool. Not a big one, but I'm gonna say spotted bass. 
Yep. Actually, I think that's our first spotted bass of the trip. Okay, see ya. Plunk. That was fun. Boom. You're too close. You are too, you are too close. We need to get out of here. Same. I literally have the chills here. <laughs> that's the old no shoulder danger needle there. That's the dangerous kind, the water moxin. Look at that nasty thing. Waiting for his next victim. Freaks me out. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you see my eyes? I'm almost crying. <laughs> All right, we can get out of here. Yeah. Got him. In the sun. That was weird. Another spotted bass, I'm sure. Yep, the old spatula. That was really strange. Like I would not expect to get bit in the sun like that. Maybe he got cold. <laughs> Maybe he did. Maybe he's like you. This top water I'm working here, y'all. This is the this is the hound. It is a, a walking style bait. So I would say out of all the baits we have, it's the most difficult to to work. You know, but if you have experience working frogs top waters it's it's no problem but it's got a little lip up front so you get a little spit uh this is like a cracked up color sexy shad cracked up sexy shad but it really helps helps to have a, a low stretch line which i don't have on here i've got mono but throwing it on like 15 or 20 pound braid you can really make that thing snap back and forth it's probably the biggest tip i can give you on these which is two fish coming in hot right here. I don't know what they want, but they are on the move. That is so crazy. Oh, God. <laughs> he took my, uh, took my daggum panthers, man. He's definitely getting the most bites on a plastic. Oh. That's the tiny. Oh, that might be a bluegill. Come on, babe. Did you have one? Oh, we broke you off. Dang. That probably was a good one. I hate to say. <laughs> that line needed a retie, you know, from when you caught it in the tree. Yeah. Dang it. Let me put a new leader on here. Second, we get the old white tail. Oh, got one. Got one? Oh, you got a big one. Oh, oh you got a big one on, babe. Hang on a second here. What do we got? Oh, you got a puller. You got a puller on the. Oh, oh, it's taking you. Oh, oh, real, 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 real. Oh God. Real. Oh yeah. OSG. You're gonna scare the deer off. I'm sorry. That's a largemouth. That's the. That's the largemouth we need. Yay. There you go. Okay, we got our large mouth. Let's right. put him back in because he's got a little right. little wound there. Yeah. Caught him out of the deeps. Let him go back down. Get some water there. Yep, just give him a little shake. A little tickle on top of the head. Just jog <laughs> his bottom jog out. Give him a little head tickle. Oh, he's gonna go off. There you go. Oh. Nicely done. Is that the first one of the day? That's the first large mouth of the day, yeah. He was pretty good size. Got it done on the little baby trench hog. Oh. We got a large mouth. On this trip, what? Oh. we have what? we have cry. What? I thought you meant you had one on. No, she is excited. So Steph has the the large mouth uh, today. On this trip, we've had a crappie. I know you guys didn't see it, it flopped off. A crappie, a large mouth, spotted bass. We've caught many sunfish. I really want to get a walleye, and uh, it's getting about lunchtime. So we're gonna head in. Let her aloe vera. You know, she's got a lotion down after being sunburned there's got to be one on this tree honey right here yeah, if you can get it up under this little uh, sweet gum or whatever it is how do you feel about the new boat by the way i like 
like it. I still, I still feel slightly embarrassed that I was never on your other boat. You never even entered. I never. You looked entered. at it through the kitchen window. I might have got on it while it was still like in the parking lot. <laughs> in our paveway. In our paveway. In our paveway. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I? Well, you, you're having some speech driveway. problems out here. <laughs> that sunburn has gotten to your vocal cords. Right now. Keep focusing on them fish, honey. Fishing freaks! Back at the cabin. We're gonna finish up our little five year anniversary trip here. Just lucky I got to go out on the water, spend some hours. Luckily, I have a wife that will let me go do that, even though I get a little carried away sometimes. I, I wanna stay out there forever. It was good to get OSG out on the water again. If you don't smash the like button, y'all, something's wrong with you. Seeing her back out on the water again, it's just, it was good. It was really good to see. I didn't hit her in, in the face with any kinds of lures at all. If you've been around since me hitting her in the throat with a frog, let me know in the comments down below. Getting dialed in with the pan optics a little bit more, more videos to come on that. Uh, subscribe to the Lake Life family channel. It's linked down below. You got uh, some ladies in your life that maybe want to see a woman's perspective. She's got it, so link down below. Also, if any of y'all are Outlaw fans, I know I am. Outlaw's my boy, he's coming down very soon. He was supposed to a few weeks ago, weather got kind of bad, had to postpone it, and he's coming back down. So we're gonna be doing a little meat haul action. I'm excited to have Outlaw down. So if you guys wanna stay tuned, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And I am wishing you the best in all of your future dangles. God bless you, and I'll see you on the next one.